Boa noite. A gala de prémios dos 50 melhores restaurantes da Ásia decorreu pela segunda vez em Macau. O evento reuniu esta semana no Cotai os melhores chefes de cozinha da região e várias personalidades ligadas ao setor. É o tema da TDM Reportagem desta semana, da autoria do jornalista Pedro Maia, que conversou com alguns dos maiores talentos da gastronomia asiática. A noite é de gala naqueles que são os Oscars da gastronomia asiática. Macau voltou a reunir os melhores chefes de cozinha, profissionais do setor, investidores, jornalistas e influencers. Eles que são a nova geração de críticos nas redes sociais. A lista dos 50 melhores restaurantes da Ásia foi anunciada no território pelo segundo ano consecutivo. Estar entre os 50 é, por si só, sinónimo de que se está no bom caminho. Ficar entre os 10 melhores pode dar lugar a um salto significativo no negócio, num setor muito competitivo. Chegar ao topo da tabela é tarefa quase impossível e este ano houve passagem de testemunho. O vencedor das últimas quatro edições, o Gagan, em Bangkok, desceu para o segundo lugar. Best restaurant in Asia, sponsored by San Pellegrino and Equipena East. Odette! O novo número um é o restaurante Odette, em Singapura. It was not expected and uh, we are very thankful to. Uh, All the people who just love our food, our cuisine, our restaurant. I think the cuisine we're doing uh, in Odette, the DNA is a French cuisine, but it has really uh, been impacted by the fact of the geographic location of Singapore and the use of a lot of vegetables, citrus and spices from the region. And this is something that I'm working on, and it's still a current process. It's, I'm trying to explore the, the flavors of Southeast Asia and how to, how to slowly infuse some in my cooking in the way I want it, in subtle touches that enhance the flavor without breaking the DNA of the cooking. And it's a very, very fragile balance to find. But it's an ongoing uh, exercise. O icónico Gagan esteve quatro anos no topo, uma tarefa que será difícil de igualar. It's always good time to give space to the younger ones, because if I sit there and be like that, then it's the worst thing ever to happen to my career. Fame is a disease, and I thankfully did not get the disease. So I'm very happy and I'm fine with this curse over and now he will get the shit of being number one. So that's not easy to be number one. And I, it's his day, give him time, it's his glory. O chefe indiano radicado em Bangkok e reconhecido como um dos melhores do mundo. Já tinha de resto anunciado que vai encerrar no próximo ano o restaurante que elevou a cozinha indiana a um novo patamar. There are two types of closing, one a funeral, one a ceremony. We go the ceremony way. We will party tomorrow in our restaurant. It doesn't make a difference whether it's number two, number one. We are still good, and that's good enough. It's consistent. Nos últimos dez anos, o chef indiano marcou tendências e colocou a alta cozinha asiática no mapa mundial. Asia has just begun. We in Asia, and do you know this that we are crazy rich Asians? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we want our food before time, we want things to happen the way we want. And we are this third world appetite with the first world thinking. And suddenly the third world appetite behaves like first world. So we don't have social skills of being in a fine restaurant. We are loud, but well, I think New York is louder, but <laughs> we are, we are, we are, we are always, we are always, 
have our own domestic approach to food. And that is why in Gagan, we, we change everything. What did we do? Now, if you see the menu, which I showed in the video, it's made of emojis. We made 25 courses, out of which 22 will be eaten by hands. And that is why in our restaurant, it's, it's such a tough task to explain people that you have to eat with hands and because they are in their best attire, they are looking good and they want to eat a fine dining meal. But eating with hands, the complexity of it is so difficult because you have to create dishes that are supposed to be Indian, served in Bangkok, and supposed to be 50 best rated restaurant, and yet eaten by hand. So the cameras, the expensive foodie cameras suffer. And I created emojis as a menu. So they would engage in the phone, but in a foodie way. And then I will not allow you to eat in your pace. You will be dumped with food every four minutes to five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So you have no choice just to eat. And food is the real hero, not the chef. We are the best orchestras. We can do what we want, but in the end, if the music is not good enough, we will never have customers. So we have restaurants from all over Asia, and there's a new movement out there, which is we are, yes, we are, we are 30, 40 years late, but we are catching up fast. It's exactly like Olympics, it's exactly like music, it's exactly like everything else in today's world. I think Gagan as a restaurant and as a chef and personality would always be legendary in Asia for bringing so much excitement and attention to food in, uh, in the region as a whole. Um, you know, it's, it's Indian food, but also being in Thailand and also having influences from Japan as well. You know, he was an amazing ambassador for Asia. Uh, the restaurant, of course, Gagan is still remains an incredible restaurant. but. A restaurant like Odette, which has built over the last four years a super reputation. It's a very different style of restaurant to Gagan. It's completely different. And that's uh, that sort of diversity, those differences, uh, what is, what's exciting in the restaurant world. In the list of 50 best restaurants, there are all sorts of restaurants, from super casual uh, barbecue restaurant or to a sushi counter, to French fine dining, to traditional Chinese, to contemporary uh, Southeast Asian. So, you know, more Sing, or, so there's so many different styles of cuisine and styles of restaurant in the list, and that's part of what we're celebrating here. Macau tem este ano dois restaurantes entre os 50 melhores, mais um do que no ano passado. São ambos de cozinha chinesa. O Wingley Palace no Wind Palace do Kotai aparece pela primeira vez na lista no 36º lugar. O Jade Dragon, no City of Dreams, subiu oito posições, está agora no 27º lugar. You look around, you know, the, the best chef are in Macau, great concept, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing, uh, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's nice to have the form uh, uh, dining of experience, entertainment, uh, and then... Uh, a place like Macau evolving so much is amazing. Nowhere in the world you have so many great chefs uh, to have a restaurant here. So I think it's a, a, a great, uh, great thing. So. The last two years in Macau have been uh, extraordinary, extraordinary learning journey for me and my team and I think for all the chefs because some of them were beginning to know about Macau in recent years, but it wasn't as widely known as some of the other gastronomic destinations in Asia. But I think in the last two years, we've seen how much Macau has to offer. The amazing chefs that come from all around to, to work here, but also the, the history, the gastronomic culture, uh, the mix of cuisines and influences from different parts of the world that make up Macanese cuisine as well. This has been something that chefs have learned about and uh, consumers are learning about, and even the media are learning about from outside Macau as well.
before we actually brought Asia's 50 best to Macau, I think we had about two to three years of negotiations. Uh, but I think the, the experience was really good for us. It allowed us to showcase Macau. It allowed us to really bring to life a lot of things that we never dreamt about. Uh, because we have, be, the, we have the opportunity to bring Asia's best chefs to Macau so that Macau's people can learn more from you and also be inspired by what you have done for you know, your respective destinations. Hosting it for the second time this year, uh, I would say that we are a bit sad that it's going away from us. You know, it's, this is the second, I hope not the last time, that we will be hosting Asia's 50 Best because I guess the experience has made us better as, a, as you see, uh, a UNESCO creative city of gastronomy. Actually, we started in Singapore for Asia's 50 Best Restaurants, then we moved to Bangkok, then we moved to Macau, and then we'll move again because it, the idea is that we move around the region and bring everyone's attention to new cities or countries or regions. Um, and share the excitement and love around different uh, destinations. Um, so we've had an amazing two years here and of course maybe one day we'll come back but uh, we will continue to, to explore Asia and Asian gastronomy. Asia's 50 best restaurants hosting it here has helped us to build my, ourselves better as a creative city but at the same time I think we are also here to learn from each other and also to well, make ourselves better as human beings. Uh, we learned a lot about sustainability this, uh, this time in terms of the 50 best talks, so we'd like to also you know, try to make sure that the local industry also puts that into practice. I think it's a very tricky subject and it's uh, especially being in Singapore, a place that officially imports 90% of its resources. 90% of the food that is consumed in the country is imported, but saying that there is more and more effort of people to try to find solutions to, uh, to, to, to reduce the impact on the nature, to develop new farming methods that allow us to reduce this level of importation. And as a chef, personally, I think we have all have a message to, to say and all something to do. Every single person in this world can do a little bit. And as a chef, I think my job is to teach my team to use every single part of every single product. So this is what one thing basic that we're trying to do in the restaurant, but believe me, it's hardcore and it's not the case everywhere. We try to use every single part of every single product. So uh, one of our signature dishes at the restaurant, it's a pigeon, okay? The pigeon is not coming from Singapore, it's coming from far away. But in order to limit this impact, we try to use every single part of the bird. We try to have zero wastage, and this is just an example, but it goes the same for fish, spices, citrus, vegetable. I think the job of the chef is more than the cooking, but it's also about thinking forward and how can we, us, reduce wastage. Este ano o evento contou com um parceiro português, os Douro Boys foram um dos patrocinadores oficiais da cerimónia. Eu acho que nós estamos a querer mostrar Portugal uh, ao mundo e Macau tem sido um trampolim para a China, um trampolim para a Ásia, de maneira que faz todo sentido e em termos de mercado, Macau é muito importante para nós, para nós todos, do Boys, para Portugal em geral. Temos que usar estas ferramentas para mostrar Portugal cada vez mais na Ásia em geral. E nesse aspecto, estes 50 Asia Best, acho que pode ser muito, muito bom. Há turistas chineses nas vossas, nas vossas quintas? Cada vez mais. Era uma, uma situação rara e hoje já não é. Cada vez mais. Não só os chineses da Ásia, Uh, japoneses também, uh, eu diria da Ásia no total, há, há qualquer coisa que está a mudar e Portugal está no mapa, uh, está na moda e eu só espero é que nós portuguesinhos saibamos investir nesta onda e não aproveitar-se da onda negativamente.
Além da lista dos 50 melhores restaurantes, foram atribuídos vários prémios individuais. Garima Aurora do Gá, em Bangkok, foi distinguida como a melhor chefe de cozinha da Ásia. Humberto Bombana, radicado há vários anos em Hong Kong e também com um restaurante em Macau, venceu um dos prémios individuais de maior prestígio, a arte de bem receber. What I want to achieve is to please the guest, win the guest heart when they come and and experience the restaurant, that's what you really want, win the heart of the guest. No? O Japão é o país com mais restaurantes entre os 50 melhores da Ásia. São 12. Seguem-se Hong Kong com 9 e a Tailândia com 8. O júri do evento é composto por mais de 300 especialistas ligados ao setor. Na próxima semana voltaremos com mais uma TDM Reportagem. Até lá, muito boa noite.